We are live here. Hello, hello. And today we can be making big boba tea. Look at the uh, stuff here ready. And today I have a challenge. My friend Adam is going to come in here. Let's uh, introduce <laughs> up, our guys? Chicago chef. Adam here. Let's see. Adam. What up? Happy to be here. Are you here. ready for this boba tea challenge? I was, you know, it's arguable that I was born ready for this boba tea challenge, even though I made it for the first mm. time like last week. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm making something different. This one I'm making is from my book. Um, I'm going to have a cream cheese topping. you going to keep a Your secret? Book. What are you going to add in the end? Or some twist? Oh, yeah. Oh, got, oh, oh yeah. People, I got your book on deck ready to go, you know? But yeah, my uh, secret, let's go. Uh, I don't know, should, should we keep it a surprise or should, or should I just tell you what I'm going to do? Let's keep it oh, a surprise. surprise me. Surprise me. Let's keep it a surprise. surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise me. Cool. Oh, I see All people right. coming here. Hello, hello. Up, we are up? in the end. Don't leave. We, I'll show you. We are in the end. It's going to do a QA and a for maybe five, ten minutes, right, Adam? Yeah. A lot of hot it. questions we need to answer. <laughs> yeah. LOL. Bumblebee, welcome. Uh, uh, so if, if you want to ask a question, please type Q&A. In the end, I'll be able to search your question. If I type Q&A, I will see your question. So ask now, I will see that question later. All That's right, we, yeah, I'm gonna start with introducing some ingredients. What, what brand you got? So we got the tapioca flour, I got this one. And yeah. also this brand, it's very common here. Um, which, which one, let me see yours, bit. So both, you see that? Both oh, those? Oh, cool, okay. I got this. But, Oh, what you get? So this you can get in Asian market. You can show yeah. Me. Easy, uh, easy. It's um. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> it's in my. Let's giant just say Adam is looking flowers. for his stuff. <laughs> it's it look was, it look was it. Arrowhead Mills. This is different, but it was Arrowhead Mills. Oh, that's like good. Whole Foods or something. Whole Foods. Know. Okay, so people always like, want to know where you get your ingredients. And Usually I get it from the Korean market down down there, but I ran out of it. It's just cheaper and it's like good quality, but I bought the stuff. Oh. The food. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got this molasses, this one, this brand. Or you can just use oh, brown too. sugar. Oh, same thing. Woo! Same, same. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to use those ingredients. And... That strap. Yeah. Unsulfured right. molasses. Molasses. <laughs> and see, I have a pot here ready to boil some water. Let's go. Let's get this started. Yeah. All yeah, right, I'm gonna turn off. Oh, you can see the in. Actually, we're water in. Let's see Adam with some water in. He's water in. Cool. We're gonna put some water in and some molasses. Four tablespoons, Ooh. right? Yes, yes. Actually, if you don't want it that much, I, I just add more water. I just add more water or molasses. You know, I didn't even molasses measure. Molasses looks so like dark and scary, but also pretty. Yeah, so this will add some color in the boba. That's why the boba is the darker color. If you use brown sugar, the color may be lighter. No, color may be lighter. And they do this in, a, in China. Well, uh, this is like tradition. This is traditional. Uh, in China, yeah. Uh, you yeah. use the well, actually, I, it's a, the the sugar we use is kind of like a dark brown sugar. I don't know how to say in English. So I find the molasses is very similar to sugar we use uh, for boba oh, cool. tea. Yeah. Oh, so this is like your little interpret, your little spin on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And my husband gonna give me a spatula. I almost forgot that. Over there, there. <laughs> I'm gonna stir the pot. I don't know. I have a little system here today, huh? Then, oh, I see a lot of people join. Welcome. So, if you are gonna put the Q and A, the letter in the front of your question, I will be able to see that. And me and Adam, we will ask uh, answer some questions. You know, he, yeah. Adam is making something a um, little different from me today. Let's see, which one tastes better? I have my <laughs> we'll traditional have one, rigor one, rigor one here. You can see me stirring in the pot. Let me switch. You can see what I'm doing here. Is that? Oh, you can see the color here. There's oh, a molasses yeah. and water. You can always add more water, you know, when you heat it. Let me see yours, yours look good. Oh, my, my pot is a little deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine is not even boiling, so let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start adding the tapioca flour as soon as it starts simmering. Oh, right okay, there. okay. Ooh, right. I bring this pot here. Yeah, let's start adding a tapioca flour. 
So we're gonna make the dough while it's hot. Yep. Oh, it's hot. Oh yeah. It's, oh, you know, there are flowers good thing ready. We both have nice. We have battled hands. These battled hands. hands. Battle. Let's see. <laughs> you are uh, you are here. You see yourself on the full screen. Whoa! Yeah. I made it. Yes, here. This is my flower. <laughs> yeah, it's a battle. So if say people people like my cream cheese topping, this one when it's finished, or your twist, uh, surprise me. Yeah, you are a little different boba tea. <laughs> yeah. My diff. I got two varieties <laughs> for you, but they're very quick to make. Ah, uh, okay. So get Ooh, those. Okay, look, I'm simmering here. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Looks good. And you good. have to add a looks. few tablespoons before you add the whole lot, right? For some sort of gelatinization yeah. reasoning or something? I don't know. Uh, so. I like to add a little bit first just to mix up. And uh, I think that makes it better. So I'm going to count you can like just, five, six seconds. Yeah. Uh, let me see if you see my big pot, not small so pot it, here. It really it's quickly small. turns into gelatin. Chins and chocolate, yeah. I know. Yeah. So, you see, mine's been looking pretty good. Doing pretty Heck good. Yeah. So, my, I turn, you gotta turn the heat down with the water and molasses, what I do. Oh, you already add in. I'm gonna catch up. You are fast. <laughs> so, me, I have to. adding I the tacky flour anymore. here. You see that? Then, I'm gonna mix. Mix first. Then, ooh, turn, you see that? Turn, I know, my lighting is kind of dark here. Then, we're gonna add more. Add more, add more. See that? Add more. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it would be enough, but it totally is. Yeah. So you would just stir the rest of the flour and mix it in. Oh, yours looks just just like mine. Just like yeah, mine. So you know that? I'm going to use this metal spoon to scrape the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's good. I have a wooden spoon. I have a wooden okay. spoon here. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm still stirring this. You can see me now on here. Then Adam is the corner. And here he's uh, stirring. You see his face. I'm going to add some more flour. Little if you add flour, water, you can always you add more water. You know? You can always add more this water. It's very sticky. Very sticky. Right here. Yeah. Look at that. And just, just, just yeah. if you need some water, add some water. Oh, you already put on. Oh, I'm slow. I'm so slow. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like a switching my camera it. here. Oh, you already got it. You already got going. Okay, I better be hurry up here. Hurry up here. Uh, let's let's no do rush, it. No rush, no rush. Don't rush. We are still making the dough. No rush, no rush. You see, I'm still making the dough. And uh, let's see. Here, you can. I can show. And my dough still in the pot. No. You are fast. My dough is still cooking here, like that. Vivian, Almost. how often do you make boba tea? Um, when my daughter's home, my wife yeah. in college, she wants me to make it a lot. She loves drinking boba tea. <laughs> and uh, how often do you make it? Or people who are watching live now, how often do you make it actually from scratch? Yeah, really. This is a, this is a whole, But it is fun, just like making any condiments or anything that you kind of take for granted. You can go to the store and buy it cheap, you know? But it is fun yeah. to kind of take a step back and make your own. and kind of learn what goes into it and what goes into the staples of what you're cooking, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. so I am ready to put this on my mat. And I think I need a glove. It's so hot. Is that too hot for you? Uh, no, I mean, my hands have been... Uh, I don't know if I can feel anything in my hands anymore. So this, <laughs> this dough, I'm going to roll it while it's hot. When it's cold, it's hard to roll. Let's do this. Let's do that. I am... Switching so you can see it different. Oh, you can see the dough or not. Let me move this. Oop. Oh, you can see the dough a little bit better. I can camera see your dough. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, in the corner. Okay. It's in the corner. In the corner. I know my camera is like in the corner there. That's right. And oh, I yeah. can see you. Let's see. Cool. Let me get some. I sprinkle some of that flour. Some more flour here. Oh, it's hot. Let me grab mm. a, a glove here if I help. That's your fine. I think my hands are fine. See that? Ooh. See that's here? Sticking. 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 Ooh, hot. So sticking. you're going to make this white. This is hot. Otherwise, it's hard to roll into a dough. Don't you think, Adam? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll just bounce back on you, you know, because tapioca flour is so weird. Yeah. You see that? Ooh, okay. 
I'm forming the dough. My hands are like so sticky right now. Yeah. I see on the corner like here, I'm rolling the dough. You can see the dough is free. Like, a, you know, my kids like to roll this, my circus, because they Your like circus. play with. My circus is a, I'm able to do this because my circus is in school. And Ooh, we gotta do a okay, Q&A. Gonna yeah. yeah, in the school, uh, so I can do this. Otherwise, it'll be so loud. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so they helped me roll this. I think the most of the work, do you think the boba tea is actually, if you make from scratch, is it, you roll each the pearls, right? That's a lot of labor work, tell you. Yeah. It just right, takes, so, you know, it's not like it's hard, it just takes the longest, you know? Yeah, but yeah. But it's a labor of love, you know? Ooh, see, I'm rolling, rolling. You are rolling. You oh, you're getting smooth. Ball right here. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. I'm behind. I'm behind. <laughs> no worries. I'm just going to wipe down my station a little bit. I'm going to actually put this guy to sleep by putting a little, uh, putting a bowl. All right. Oh, you do it. Looked it. Yeah, yeah. And let's see. Let's see your dough in the big screen right there. Hmm? I'm to in see? the oh, corner check it out. here. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm still working. I'm still, I'm still uh, rolling my dough here. Nice! You can see, I'm still like exercising. Oh, and I don't have a glove. I just get too sticky here. Adding some more flour. Still rolling. So you gonna wait for me a little bit and uh, making the making the pros, right? Making the yep, little... We're gonna roll them out and I'll wait for you to start rolling because that's when it really Rolling, happens. yeah. So who's helping me rolling? Yeah. Ni hao, yeah, someone said in Chinese, and I'm oh, nice. looking at the Q&A, yes! So if you put a Q&A in front of your question, I'll be able to answer that later. We will be answering some hot questions, right, Adam? Heck yeah. Yes, put a Q&A there. Questions. Put a Q&A there, I'll questions. be searching I got a question for you, Vivian. Oh, what's your question? Where, where did Boba Tea, like, start? Because it's so popular here in the U.S., and it seems like in every other part of the world that is in Asia and I know it's like been forever popular in Asia mm -hmm. but it's like is it but I know Japan has their version I know you see it in Korea of course China I know Taiwan as well so like Taiwan. Where, where does it come from I think originally when mainland China get a boba tea is from Taiwan yeah because actually when I grew up I didn't drink boba tea is that really? weird so it's yeah weird. I didn't no that was popular well, later Probably in the after 2000, even in the 90s, oh. I did not have no? boba tea. No, wow. no. But now in my hometown, uh, maybe next yeah. time I share a picture, this is a fancy mm -hmm. boba tea shop. They even fancier than a Starbucks. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, people so people line boba. up. Yeah, and just Heck for yeah. boba. But they have so many different wow. flavors. And then for China, that fancy boba tea shop gonna cost you four, more than $4. $4 in China is a lot for one drink, you know? Even here, it's expensive. For sure, for sure. Yeah. I mean, these days, I mean, you go at the Starbucks though, and most people probably expect to pay like five or six bucks for their coffee, which is pretty yeah. absurd. You yeah. Know? But we're just used to it now, so just come to the market, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at my dough. Oh, Let me see your uh, dough. Yeah. Oh, and if you oh, see right me here. looking over there, it's because my screen's over there. But I'm gonna uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, look, they're brothers. They're brothers. brothers. Yeah, oh. yes. Ooh. Let's right. roll some. Let's show everybody how we roll the pearls, the tiny ones. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, what I've been doing is just pushing yeah. it into quarters. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is all directions, directions from your book, you know, that I'm mm -hmm. kind of using here. So, I'm going to keep those on here. And then if I need any more flour, maybe I'll just have a little bit going. I like this to cover my any dough, any dough mm -hmm. I cover here. And okay, A will be divided mm -hmm. to add some more. And you can see too much flour. Ooh, too much flour? No, never too much yeah, flour. Yeah, for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all right. Let's see this one. You can see me. Like doing the flowers here. I have these glasses. I'm like oh, in the corner nice. here, right here. Mm, this is in the way. And we both side, you see the hands rolling. Ooh, why am, why am I off camera right now? And uh, camera two. Okay, so I am How rolling How thick are we going piece. here, Vivian? 
Oh, you, you already wrote in a piece, so I'm gonna cut another one, just wrote it smaller. So everybody, if you make the boba like tea. Yeah, this like a little noodle. Like, it's kind of like a thick noodle, you know? Yeah, thick noodle. You know what, if you just boil that pe one piece, you can have a boba noodle, you know? Whoa, boba noodle. Yeah, make a, yeah. Make a video for us on that. Yeah, boba noodle, how about that, you know? <laughs> <Don't wait down. laughs> I'm so um, Yeah, maybe, maybe that's, you know, I'm not, I, I made a video the boba uh, the dough, and just, uh, instead of uh, molasses, I use, um, what do you call it, dragon fruit. So the dough came out red, really nice. Wow. Yeah. Red? You, yeah, red, kind of dark red, uh, Boba pearls. That's a video. I'm maybe put a link down there and you can check out my Sweet. dragon fruit boba pearls. You can use strawberries too, I think. Anything then you make a stra strawberry strawberry flavor boba. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Let me check here. Let me just right. cutting the. You know, it kind of looks like a tamarind pod. Doesn't that look like a tamarind pod? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I better hurry up, you are fast. So, I'm making my first one. Oh, and my hands is so here. Actually, you can just cut it. And the most yeah. work I find is a kind of a lot of work is you rolling each one. You can just cut it and just boil the, this. You don't have to make a shape. Actually, it doesn't matter, right? When you eat it, it doesn't matter shape is. If you just eat it at home, save you time, just yeah. cut it. Uh, yeah, like that. You can just boil each pearls like that. That's fine. Some I'm lazy gonna, boba. I mean, are we rolling them into balls? Yeah, we're rolling, rolling in some in the balls. And I also have yeah. some already made here. Yeah, like that. Cool. You can just um, you can just boil the pieces like that. Perfect. Then you don't yeah. have to roll them. So when you and roll them, seven. it's so much work, more work. Yeah. Yeah, totally. But I, I do like the little balls. The little balls are nice and they're classic. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Right here. Uh -huh. And they do like to stick to one another, so that's why I just... Yeah, so I roll into like a little balls like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just, don't you think that this is the most difficult step with rolling? I wouldn't so who's say help difficult, us the I would say... I would say time consuming. Time it's not consuming, that yes. Yeah, because so, I mean, rolling them into little balls, it's not like it takes, you know... Like, it's just it's just time to but it's yeah. worth it i think yeah because you know it's nice to slow down and, yeah uh, you know think about stuff while this is going on or in our case talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you i have a question so when did you have a first boba in chicago well, it must be in chicago or maybe somewhere else you had a boba oh man i don't i can't even i can't even uh remember honestly but, you know it was probably when i was a little kid taking a trip to like Hawaii. My, uh, my stepmom oh. grew, grew up there. Oh. And um, so That's we, uh, so yeah, we, um, we just would like go grab like shave ice and Ooh. boba and all the like cool, you know, um, just like the cool like Asian drinks pretty much, you know, and all those oh. like cool flavors that I'm not, um, and I say Asian because it's literally like, you know, Hawaii, it's, like, every single Asian culture yeah. mashed into one state. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's just like, you know, Pandan and like, or Pandan, I don't know how to pronounce it, and then like, you know, like, like oh, Taro, yeah. Going in. yeah, all that good stuff, like, these cool flavors that I like haven't uh, yeah. had much exposure to, I had when I was a little kid, so. Um, uh, what's your favorite like, flavor? I'm asking you and everybody now watching <laughs> live, what's your favorite boba flavor? Man, um, <laughs> favorite flavor. <laughs> what's your, I'll tell you mine, all right, all right. I love Taro. Oh, yeah, me too. I love Taro. Like, it's like a better vanilla. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that name, better vanilla. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So if you are just joining us, we are in the middle of a battle making the pearls, and uh, we're making a little bro, little balls here, like that. Mm -hmm. Like that? You see yeah. mine? I switch to here. Okay, so Adam was cutting that. If you don't want to rolling, this is a lot of work, oh. then... <laughs> You you can just cut it and then boil the. You can just uh, here cutting like little pieces, uh, cutting pieces here. You can just boil these uh, unregular shapes, but I think it's fine. You know, they just kind of look it. like tootsie rolls. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, <laughs> like when you, this is like your yeah, like that. 
So if you just boil that, I think it totally tastes the same, right? Tastes the same and yeah. save you time. Yeah. Totally. Does, but we're going above and beyond this. Yeah, so we have put some work. I always say that like, cooking is like a, doing exercising. I live for walk, I'm doing this. Then I don't need to go to the gym already, you know? <laughs> cooking yeah, is working out. Especially. Yeah. You gotta sweat too if you, if you have a good stove. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The, my walk, the 16 year old I got in Chicago. 16 oh, yeah, years ago. In no Chinatown, way. in Chicago. I think probably I probably 2000, know exactly where you got it. 2005 or 6, I went to Chicago, I got it. I said, oh, where's the Chinatown in Chicago? My God, in Minnesota, there's no Chinatown. Or, oh, got one. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. <laughs> I yeah, was I know, excited um, to get it. Ch Chinatown's my, probably like my top three like favorite neighborhoods in the city. I've been like have been loved going there since I was a little kid because we uh -huh. try to get our parents to take us so that we can go get like butterfly knives and go to dim sum Ooh. and get fireworks. <laughs> fireworks, yeah, dim sum. You know, now we are fireworks. still Chinese New Year. We're still celebrating. Yeah. Mm. Happy Happy New Year. Thank you. And uh, we are celebrating for 15 days. Today is days. day day nine. You know. Cool. In Lunar calendar will be January 9th. We will celebrating until the lunar calendar January 15th. 15th will be the last day of New Year. I will be making a traditional dish. It's a, it's a like, called a rice dumpling, rice balls in my book. And also it's a tang yuan in Chinese for the holiday, the last day of Chinese New Year, Yuan Xiao Festival. Have you heard the, the festival name? Uh, no, uh -huh. I've never heard that before, but I used to go to Chinatown for the parade. Uh, oh! With my, yeah, we go to a place called Triple Crown uh, with, oh. my, with my whole family. And um, like we would go and get dim sum and then we'd watch the parade and go into the shops and you know walk around. And it was in the middle of winter always, so it was cold. <laughs> but when I was a little kid, I used to go to this one spot and get this, uh, they used to sell turtles. Like mm. little pet turtles that you could buy as pets. Oh, I had, a, I, I had a turtle as a pet when I grew up in China. Totally. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I still have mine. Her name is Wheels. Oh, you still have your turtle? Yeah, it's right at my now? dad's house, though. I know. My, uh, I, I, left her, I left her at my dad's house. She's got a great life, though. She takes uh, uh, care uh. of So, it. do you have any pets now in your house <laughs> right now? Uh, we have one cat named Mister who walks around. He's a demon. But he, oh. uh, he's, he might show some face later. We'll see. How about you? Um, we don't have any pets, just a circus. But my kids want to. I don't think you need any pets. I know, just too busy. Oh. And it's like <laughs> a t 10 below. How are we going to go out and walk a dog? You know, too cold. That's true. You know, you got to get like a Malamute or something that can take, take that climate. A big old Alaskan furry fluffer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start boiling some pearls. What do you think? Should we keep start yeah, cooking yeah, this? Yeah, I'll, yeah, be, yeah. I'll be ready for you in a second here, sure. Yeah, um, we are be ready to boil some. Get my water going. And what are you boiling your pearls in? Uh, I boil in the water, and uh, also I'm gonna see, show you this. Maybe move a little bit. Uh, I boil some water now, and uh, I add a molasses, or so well, you can add a brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Just keep it a little so, sweet. Yeah, keep it a little sweet, and also maybe add some color on the pearls. So here. You can see I made this. Uh, I'm going to add some molasses in my pot. Look at that. Ooh, drop some in. There. So, uh, so check this out. Uh, mix that. Let's see yours. So I have my tray here. That I'm just gonna, okay. I'm gonna strain some off so that they're not super. Uh, oh, look at that. Too too molasses. Look at that. I'm just uh, on the corner here cooking my little molasses water. It's not boiling yet. Oops. Drop it. Oh, I see. If you just here. come in. Yeah, if you just come in, then it's... Um, we're going to do a Q&A in the end. Just type a Q&A. I'll be able to search your question answer some in the end. And Adam going to surprise me making a different yeah. boba tea. I think you're gonna oh, like you're what making I have, it. What I have to give. Yeah, You're be uh, pleasantly surprised. it's fine. Um, are you boiling the water? I'm boiling some. Yeah, I got some. And these take about what? 
Uh, I'm gonna see. What did you say? How long did you take to simmer before they cook? Oh, I, I, I just boil this. I, if, when it's a bubble, then I put the pearls in for a few minutes. Ooh, I see your, I see your boba. I don't see you. <laughs> oh yeah, the yeah. Here. And these are coated all nicely, just that they oh, stick together. Oh, you're. Oh, know? yes, yes. Here, here. Oh, here's mine. And so we're boiling here. Oh yeah, you are boiling there. Um, mine is not boiling oh, yet. Mister. There he okay. is. Okay, yeah, Mister. What's, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, mi literally, Mister. Oh, Mister. Okay, I like that name. <laughs> Mr. Let's oh, get Mr. Big, big screen here. Mm. Oh, this is my pot. Mr. And Mr. is running. Screen. Yeah, here, oh, that's, that's Mr. I'm just watching Mr. <laughs> while I'm boiling this. Mr.'s yeah, food yeah. looks good, Mr. Oh, yeah. He loves his food, that's for sure. I had a cat <laughs> when I grew up. Oh, the butt. The oh, butt. Yeah? Yeah. A, yeah? Yeah. A turtle yeah. and a cat? Yeah, I had a turtle and a cat. Yeah, and my cat was like a brown cat. It was pretty big. Do you know in China back in the time when I grew up, I lived with my grandparents. Uh, we have to make the food for the cat. We didn't have cat food. Ooh, so would you feed your cat? Uh, of course, rice. The cook the rice. Yes. Then my yes. grandfather would go to market. We would go get some uh, liver. I think it was uh, either chicken, chicken liver, liver or uh, any other different liver would be fine. No, or or pig liver, both. Well, come home, boil, say chicken liver, then chop them up and mix it with rice. That was my cat food for my cat. Oh, yeah. You know, he had pretty well. <laughs> yeah, he had a pretty, pretty he, he, he pretty good. My <laughs> yeah, boil. And, sure, and my cat had another one is um, we go buy these little tiny fish, dried fish in the market. Um, so I will give to my cat, my, my grandfather, to chop these little dried fish. Um, he so she will have fish and rice mixed with the liver. I think that's mostly my cat food. Every day. That sounds like a balanced, a delicious, balanced meal that I might eat. Uh, just you know, because I because it sounds good. So yeah, yeah, the cat yeah, definitely had a dope life. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drop like my food weekend. Like a food weekend. Oh, okay. My my still cooking. All right. My still, the water. Oh, you already put it in. You are always ahead of me. Oh, I'm I'm behind. I'm behind. Behind. I'm just trying to wipe off some. Uh... Oh, okay. You already put it in. I'm just waiting. You can see my. You can see my's not boiling yet. Kind of slow, slow motion, slow motion. Slow motion for me. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, and uh, please leave us a Q and A in the end. Uh, just type a Q and A. Then I'll be able to see your question in the end. I will okay. answer some questions. Right now, I'm waiting for my boba water to boil so I can put this in and I can see. Ooh, okay, thank you for joining me, Steffi Paul. You know, my English as a second language, hard to sometimes pr pronounce people's names. Oh, no, you're great at it, though. It's a lot thank than you. Chinese. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I moved here in 2005, I had to take some English classes and study English at home. I think a, a, a TV show called Desperate Housewives will help my English. I was watching Oh my that. god. <laughs> yeah. I remember that show. Yeah, and uh, I will have a little notebook, write down my notes, like the words I don't know. I will pause, have a subtitles on, write down the words I don't know, then how's how I English. But I will probably spend three hours, four hours to watch a 45 minute episode. It's a lot of work. We got Eva Longoria to thank for that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Teach some. Uh, <laughs> Desperate Housewife English. How's that? Yeah, so. great. <laughs> ah, you see, my is still not boiling. I boil it on my side corner here, and uh, this is ready to go. I'm just waiting. Yours is probably gonna cook already. Yeah, mine, no? mine are getting there. Probably a few oh, okay. minutes. All right, I'm gonna put it in. Stop bubbling. I am going to put it in here. Okay. Mine will be ready in a few minutes. Let's see that. Okay, your Mr. Where's the Mr. Runaway? And uh, Mr. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. That's gone. One. He'll be back. Yeah. Matter. Big nope. fan from India. <laughs> Hi, Anna from India. 
Oh, so we don't go comments. away, Paul. Stay here. We still have Q&A in the end. And the boba tea to try right here. And uh, just type Q&A. I will be able to answer that in the end. And what's your favorite boba tea flavor? Now I'm asking everybody here who's here. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, did you, answer, did you answer that question? What's your favorite? Oh, I like the taro flavor, also taro. The, this rigor one, just rigor, just plain rigor Straight. milk tea, boba tea, yeah. Just yeah. the traditional classic one. Yeah, which I didn't know before I read your book, I didn't know that was the, technically the classic one. Uh, there's a question we can answer now. Do you like India? Do you like India? Do I like, do I what? Do you like, here, let me put this on the screen, you can see it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here. This one, do you see the question on my side? Asha asks, do you get like a little closer. India? Do I yeah. like India? Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I love it. So again, like, my, one of my other favorite neighborhoods, along with Chinatown, is, uh, it's off Devon Avenue, and it's like little Pakistan and little India. Ah. They're like, just, they hang out, like, they're basically like, the same neighborhood right there. Great food, like, fun little stores, like, oh. little celebrations, little cool festivals when uh Ooh. you know when it's nice out and it's it's pretty close to where i live here yeah but actual india i would love to travel to and my girlfriend and i my camera lady and i <laughs> yeah um yes <laughs> and, but uh she you know we always talk about like wanting to go to india and explore and eat food and mm. go, on a, go on an adventure there so yes but i've never been <laughs> yeah never been. i want to go and i uh, love indian yeah. food you, you you must make some indian food at home i'm gonna make some too on the edge oh, yeah, of video. Alright, All right, yours is kind of ready. Mine is almost, almost, almost ready. You can see. We're gonna mine. test it. Test it, test it. Taste one. Taste one. Right. Mm. Uh, We're ready. Yours ready? You see mine still yeah. cooking? Those are good. Mine still cooking here. Ooh, yours done. Oh. I'm just yours going done. to get them in some cold water. Yes. Stop them from uh, sticking too and stuff with some cooking. Oh, that looks nice. I need to get some cold water. Uh, my assistant and husband are gonna help me get some. Oh water. my god. Wait, Vivian, oh, your do mister you is coming. This cooking liquid? Oh, there he is. Do you keep this cooking liquid to use as like a syrup or do you usually get rid of it? Uh, that cooking one? I really get rid of it. Just flavor my boba. Yeah, starchy. Um, yeah, too starchy. Yeah, mine is almost done. You can see, it's still boiling. I will be putting the cold water soon. Here's my water. I will put in this soon. And uh, making my topping, making my topping will be cream cheese. And, or oh, let's see. I have some milk. And my recipe will be whipping cream, cream cheese. Where's my cream cheese? Right here. Oh, yeah, I'm back with my cream cheese. So if you if you don't like to make a topping or just make the tea will be plain classic, you don't have any topping, that's fine. You're gonna be so oh that surprised me with your own little twist or flavor you are going to make. Oh yeah, the that's yeah, it's the, right, it's texture. It's kinda really tough nice. to see. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's see. It's Let's jelly. see the bigger. Let's see bigger. Oh. <laughs> I just Here. made it, hold on. Alright, ready? Yeah, the cut one. Let's see. Ah. Yes. Looks uh, smooth outside and chewy, right? When you chew it, I like the yeah, texture. Yeah, and it's like kind of, yeah. Chewy with a like glossy outside that's almost kind of yeah. neat. Yeah. Really Come on. Mine's almost done. I'm still boiling probably a couple more minutes. Here. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare the blender area. Uh, okay, Actually, yeah, I, now. yeah. So we can switch to making my topping right now. While we're talking, um, we can have some topping ready. Okay, so here is my oh my ingredients. Mm, where's my blender? Uh, I'm gonna get the blender here. Oh, here. Alright, mine is boiling. 
And I have a blender plastic cup I will be using. Yeah, um, the blender cup must be my dishwasher, you know? I put it here last night and it's gone. Maybe my kids oh, took no. it. <laughs> yeah. Take it to school with them. Yeah, take it to school and here on my, you're gonna help it, the blender cup. I'm gonna find it. And uh, here, thanks for joining me. We will be answering questions, like Q and A in the end. Type Q and, oh, you have a blender, actual blender. I'm gonna use this, I'll show you. Little oh, tool nice. here. Little oh, I have found it. Yeah, little whisk. I'm nice. just doing here. Oh, that's nice. Doing. Easy. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's um, let's uh, do the topping here. I'm gonna switch to you and me. I will be putting some whipped cream. Very nice. And uh, sugar, or oh, my sugar is very far right here. I'm gonna make some nacho right now. Oh, oh, now I kind yeah, of know so I got, what you're making here. Mm. Yeah, so uh, we got some of this. We got this little cool little chow on a friend of mine made. Uh, so, you know, you can make matcha in. Oh, that's pretty cool. cool. Little that's bamboo cool. whisk. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's see. Let's see you making that. Got a little bit of match daddy going uh, okay. in. Okay. Is, is this from Uji, Jess? This isn't the same one, obviously. No. Mine is going to be loud, though. I will be showing you my boba boiling there. Probably almost done. Let's show that. Show everybody this. Oh, I think this is... Let me test one. Put it in the water and try. Let's try this. Let's try that. I put it in the water. Let's see. Uh... I think it's ready. I'm gonna taste this. Taste one. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, taste on the camera here. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. It's done. I'm going to put in the cold water. Oh, you're making your matcha there. Fancy matcha <laughs> matcha boba tea. That's a good one. That's a good one. Matcha boba. Classic. Yeah. Look at that. I think. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe not so classic. But now I'm just whisking it because matcha is all, you know, you want it to have that frothy head, sort of like, yeah. a, like a stout beer. Or like an espresso. So it takes a couple okay. minutes to like get, uh, get there. Alright, I uh, got my boba in. Oh, nice. I got my boba in the water. Right here. Mm. Then you are making matcha on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's the arm work. Mm. Arm work. Oh, yeah. It's something. It's my forearms are on fire, but it's so worth it. The caffeine's going to keep me going, so we're good. Oh, I, I need to drink <laughs> more coffee. Need to drink yes. more coffee. So here, just uh, me and some whipped cream, sugar. I'm going to do this. Hope this works. It's just so loud. You know? Very loud. Very loud. Let oh, me cool. Just, so you're, you're literally making the whipped cream. Yeah, That's I'm awesome. making whipped cream. And I'm going to add cream cheese in. So maybe why I'm making the whipped cream and um, is that so loud? And this is the top. This is the topping. Yeah, it's a topping. Yeah, I'm gonna. People are gonna get annoyed. Hopefully not. Oh, this noise. Um, <laughs> I, actually, I, I can mute the, the mute the mic. I can. I can put some elevator music behind it or something. I can't hear you, Viv, if you can hear me. You there, Vivian? There's music. <laughs> it's like old timey, like gold rush San Francisco music. Vivian, can you hear me? You're on, oh, you're, can you hear me? Mute. Oh, there you go. Oh. You're on, now you were on mute. <laughs> I, I was on mute. I was so loud. I was talking. I was on mute. And because my 
whisk is so loud. So now I'm on mute so you can hear me. Did you hear the music I was playing? Uh, yeah, we did. It was like uh, like old school like elevator, not really music. It was, it was nice. It was a nice uh. change of pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just added in some no. that. Some cream cheese. And some more. You know, it, it's when people always ask me, oh, do you use dairy or cheese in Chinese cooking? I say, no. Chinese cooking, probably one of those, um, you don't use dairy. Actually, this, this is not traditional Chinese cuisine. It's just boba tea. Of course, you use cream cheese. I never even had a cream cheese when I grew up. Really? Yeah. I mean, any That's, cheese. Any no cheese. cheese. No cheese. Cheese is no not Chinese. Cheese. No, not Chinese. My dad will run away. Every time he visits here, he said, is that cheese in here, like a burger? I said, yeah. He was like, oh, is that white stuff cheese? <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> so just, he didn't like cheese, no go. No, so I would tell the waitress to say, oh, no cheese for the burger. Or, you know, some Western food with cheese. Oh, always like a no cheese. He, he doesn't like cheese at all. Most cheese of Chinese own. people. Yeah. If you know, if you didn't, I, in, just in general, uh, I, I think in like a... Uh, in you know Japan, China, and Korea and stuff, like dairy is this kind of a thing brought over by like the West. Is what yeah. I learned in one of my uh, in one of my uh, East Asian history uh, courses in yeah. college. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you making the tea? Actually, I'm gonna make some tea right here. Add some water. I'm Let's check out some water. Too, so we're gonna we're gonna I'm oh. just gonna put some. What I got here, we're gonna start with we're gonna start over here with the matcha green tea though, and then we're gonna move into something a little more interesting. But so right here, I just got my little my little beer mug full of the matcha. Oh, that looks nice. Full of the uh, full of the boba, and I'm just gonna drop this. Yeah. This is just a simple syrup that I made earlier with oh. uh, equal parts sugar and uh, I'm sorry, brown sugar and water. Nice. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of that in the bottom there to keep it nice and sweet. Okay. And then Let's see. I'm gonna then add you get milk. at. Oh, sorry, Ooh, I'm oh, making. I am making some. You see my pot. I'm making some tea in here. I will be showing you the, the tea I have in the in the back. My right, a second. I have so much Chinese tea, far from China. For example, you know, I only when I grew up, I only drink a loose tea. We even didn't have a tea bag when I came here. It's all tea bags. If I go to a restaurant, I wanted some tea <laughs> always in the bag. But usually the tea. Beauty in the bag is not very good tea, don't you think? No, no, yeah, yeah. the fresh loose stuff, the fresh loose stuff is, uh, is much better. Yeah, much better. you see this tea, I got individual bags. They are the nice. Dragon Well tea, and this one is a loose tea. It's a, a oolong tea. So, oolong, I think... Uh, oh, I love oolong tea. Yeah. I love oolong tea. And right. uh, I'm going to use this oolong tea today. So, on my recipe, you can just put the tea bag in the water so it's easier to take out. For the loose tea, of course, a lot more work. You have to take the tea out with a strainer or, you know, stuff, but extra work. Let's see, I'm gonna, oh, you already got your cup ready. I have a glass here, or here. I'm gonna do the bubble tea in here. Nice. That's and nice here for my tea, yeah. Here for my tea. It's uh, sweet. Yeah, it's uh, sweet. Back to you. Switch so I there. You, you do that. Let's make the other version that I was going to tell you about. This one's a little yeah. more different, you could say, especially if you're oh. not used to it. But this is this is durian sorbet that I made. Oh, um, yeah. durian. So I did. I had durian, which is, as you know, like uh, yeah. the fruit that comes from like Southeast Asia. Yeah, a lot really of people spiky. don't like it. A lot of right, people don't like I, it, but it's kind of if you're if you didn't grow up with it, I can kind of understand it because it literally does smell like dirty feet. But yeah, it's not. Don't let that scare you away from it. If you taste it, it's sweet and creamy and delicious. And, yes. Um, but I understand you have to taste why it. people don't like it. Yeah. You, you have to taste it. it. If you smell it, it's not good. You know? And a lot of people aren't uh, that adventurous. So, but you know, yeah. I urge you to be adventurous and try smell. So this is just. Oh yeah, you could already smell that. That's great. That is a nice smell. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add some of this in my blender, it's kinda like ice cream. But it's oh, so okay. hard. It's so hard that I'm gonna use my ice cream scoop. Oh, okay. Ice cream scoop. Yeah. Oh no. 
I am making some more tea here. So I'm going to brew some tea. Milk tea, I had a milk and uh, here, let me switch my can. You can see the uh, water, milk and sugar already in here boiling. Then I'm going to add some tea leaves in. If you just come into live, please type a Q&A. I will be able to answer it in the end. Where are you with the cream cheese topping here? Ooh, Adam's making... Uh, let's see, Adam's making a version of matcha boba tea and the Dorian sorbet. Look at that, fancy. Fancy but version. But I kind of want to do something weird, and we're doing this live video because I've never done this before. But I oh, what are you doing? Well, first off, I had to temper my ice cream, so that's why I pulled it out of the microwave. So I'm just yeah. going to pop mm. that at the bottom. And then okay. I'm going to do, do half regular durian sorbet just with some whole milk. But of course, oh. you can stuff the whole milk or whatever. And then I'm going to do another half, and I'm going to add some pandan flavoring. I always oh. say that pandan. Pandan? Is it pandan? Um, pandan? I don't know what it's called, but pandan, yeah. Check it out. It's like an aromatic, like a big leaf, kind of looks like aloe. Oh, okay. This is definitely pandan. not fresh. It's pandan. green. It's not a pandan cake. Very popular. Yeah, yeah. It's super, yeah. super, uh, super green. So, super I'm gonna add a little bit yeah. of milk to this. Oh, okay, your blender, blender. This is gonna be nice and loud, Vivian. So. Here, here, Adam. Here's a question for you. Maybe I can what's answer up? it. Here, what's do you up? see that question? All right. Oh, what's, oh, what's okay. my favorite song? Yeah. Uh, favorite song. Probably, probably uh, we got the jazz by a, tri a tribe called Quest. It's like a like a song from the '90s, rap, one of my favorite rap groups. It's probably my favorite song. What's your favorite song? Oh, favorite song, probably Chinese song. Uh, what is it? Uh, there's a singer I really like, Wang Fei. She was really famous in the 90s. He's, her song is still classic. He, she's um, like a Hong Kong singer. A lot of her songs oh, I nice. like. Yeah. Ooh, Hong Kong. I want to go there. Here, a question for both of us. And we're going to answer more in the end, since I'm boiling my tea I have a couple of minutes. So what's your favorite thing to do as a hobby? I do a lot of stuff. Uh, as a hobby, oh, I, I like to draw. I play tennis. What about you, Adam? Oh, you play, you play, you play tennis? Yeah, a yoga. Nice, yoga. Heck yeah. But what yeah. do I do? What do I do? Um, it kind of depends on the season, but I um, I mean, you know, listen, I've been bad about it, but when I can, I like to go out there and snowboard. Oh, snowboard, um, yeah. Yeah, but it's you know, it's not something I get to do all the time, but um. My hobbies in, in consist of cooking and then uh, cooking, of course, and then filming cooking, and then mm -hmm. probably cooking. Yeah. Cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you making today for dinner? I have to think about what I'm gonna make for my circus. I'm actually I'm, I'm making a duck today. We got kind of an interesting. Oh, yeah. duck. <laughs> yeah, duck a la orange. So it's like a French duck recipe um, oh. that uses like winter citrus. So oh. I'm putting it on TikTok, baby. You guys will see it in Sorry, okay, let's uh, we see on TikTok. And uh, I, I had a new video on here on YouTube. Also, I put the short version on my TikTok. It's about Costco. Do you know Costco is like a second Asian market? Hmm? I did not know that. <laughs> no, but I do know Costco. Yeah, it's just so many Asian people, uh, moms, going there shopping. So I made this video about right. shopping there. They have so much stuff, Asian stuff, even, cool. you know, ramen, uh, dumplings, That's unexpected. all that stuff. Yeah, and I got some mango cake there. I was uh, making a video eating. So here, I'm yeah. ready to put the oolong tea in, so it's my tea. So for you, if the people you watching this use my recipe, and you can just use a tea, leaf, a tea bag, it's easier, so you don't have to take this tea out. That's it. So I put the tea in the milk and water, and there's some sugar in here. Uh, we're gonna stir this, cook it for a few minutes. This tea will be ready. Soon. Then I have this little Sweet. cup here for the boba. Oh, the pandan smells Switch. so good. Oh, let's see. Let's see your progress here. Your oh, your. This is the sorbet, right? Sorbet. Yeah, round two. This is the pandan. You can see it switch colors on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah really is. nice. <laughs> you make it fancy. You 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 your boba tea maybe might just four dollars. Yours maybe ten dollar <laughs> tea. Look I'm gonna charge seventy-five dollars for this, dude. Seventy-five dollars. Did you buy it? 
<laughs> 75 if you give me a yeah, discount. I'll give, you, I'll give you some. Only you get the special discount, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> special discount. Then now I will be putting the boba. Ooh, putting the boba first in the cup, in my glass. Oh, that's a little dirty. Here. Let's see. Oh, yours look good. This, uh, you can see mine. I'm still putting the boba here. I think here. I'm gonna try to get a little fancy here and add a little design. Oh, nice. Let's see if this works. I've never done this before. <laughs> Let's see yours. Oh, look at that. Little fancy. Wow, that's a surprise. So actually, yours look like, I, I mentioned a boba tea shop in my hometown now, fancy one. They make mm -hmm. uh, like layers like that. Then they, oh, they cool. have the bottom will be boba and also crushed like uh, kind of smash the fruit for example like a grapes or peach and uh, then middle layer mm. will be the milk some boba and then top they topping are more with cream with cream cheese and some uh fresh fruit so it'd be a fancy one so they can sell more money yeah that. yeah oh nice so i just put the boba in here you see the tea in the background so boiling i will be putting the milk tea in here Move this on the side. Right on. The cheese boiling. And I think I'll, uh, so I'll wait. I got one ready, but I'll wait to do the other one with you. Oh, okay. Oh, you got two here. I'm making one. Making one for as my lunch. Oh, yum. <laughs> Your lunch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so, nice, you know, nice you put a lot of breakfast. boba in there. You put a lot of boba <laughs> in here, then it's like That's lunch, baby. food, right? So my tea's boiling. Okay. I'm going to add some more water. Some more water. My assistant got to give me some more water. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah, needs a like, loyal assistant. Yeah, your girlfriend, yeah, holding the camera here. And see, yeah, let's she's, see she's here. Crushing it. Crushing it, yeah. Let's just show your first drink. First drink. First drink? All right, this is my first drink. Oh, nice. This is yeah, the, uh, the, the, you can see the bulb at the bottom of better over here. But, yeah, uh, and then it's got you got the durian and the pandan durian sorbet. So this is a cold one. You know, you go to you go to boba tea and you get like the cold boba tea. That's yeah. the room for here. Then, ah, and some ice. So this is like the smoothie. Yeah. Oh, what I don't oh, actually, there's no tea, right? This is like a smoothie. There's a no tea in there. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's no tea. It's more like a smoothie. Like oh, a smoothie. I yeah. Of, when I think of bubble tea, which is probably very mm. American and not American. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like that. Actually, the pendant really adds some nice color. I already have some. Uh, I have some cute ice. I already made. I already made it in the freezer, like the pink color ice. I'm gonna put it in. Add some color too. I have some Whoa. ice ice balls. <laughs> ice, ice balls ice in balls. the Ziploc. Great. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. I will show you the tea still boiling. I'm kind of behind. You already made the one. I'm still making my classic one here. Yeah, yeah, but your classic one has that topping on it. You know, you gotta make sure that's yeah. nice See here, I have some... I have some ice here. Look at that. <laughs> oh, let me switch to here. Oh, I have some... Look at that. Pink ice. Oops. Whoa. Pink ice. Oh, Pretty. here. Then I'll be adding this in. Let's put some in here. I made this with a sparkling ice drink. Let's add some in here. Actually, oh, in China, really? a lot of people, this is a cold version too. In China, people like to drink hot boba tea, like my daughter. She only wants to oh. drink a hot boba tea. Hot boba tea? I've never even heard of that before. No? Oh, you think boba no. tea is just cold? No. So, Not only like, do I think it's cold, I think it's like a smoothie, because that's what I grew up with. <laughs> oh. So, I don't know. Yeah. So, she only likes hot boba tea. Yeah. I gotta try I know, that. So. I gotta try that. It sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when the tea boil, then they'll be ready to pour it in. You know, you're supposed to let this cool, but I don't. I have ice in here, so that will be cold. I'll take this tea leaves out. I'll take this out. Nice and warm. And nice and warm. So I mean, the hot version will be. You don't add ice. You just pour this hot milk tea with a with boba. Then don't add any ice. Yeah, okay, I got a tea leaves out. We're gonna pour this in. Ooh. 
hope I won't pour on the table. Let's uh, switch to your tea. I'm gonna move some stuff over to pour the soda tea. Yeah, safe. Let's put this here. Oh, you are you making a second one already? Are you ready for that? I'm waiting for you. I'm gonna I'll do it okay. with you, alright? All right, let's do that. All right, I think I'm here. ready to pour this tea. All right, back to you. All right, my tea is kind of hot, but we don't have time to wait until cool. Look at that here. I'm going to be moving over there. Pour some in. Actually, I like some tea leaves in here still. Oh, if you see Yeah, that, that is kind of nice. Yeah. Very pretty. I pour it this way so you can see it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Look at that. That looks like a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this? I should have here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful cup. Good choice in the uh, cup. Go, I, I bought these uh, just for boba tea. Oh, these. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so next, I will be adding some uh, cream on here. Are you ready to add some stuff on? Who is it? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm ready to go. Mine's, mine's a little less involved than yours right now. So I think you should finish yours, and I'll do mine in a second. All yeah. right, so the cream cheese Ooh, topping. look at that. Cream cheese just topping. add on top. Looks fire. Right. Look at that. All right. You can do a fancy, like you can put in a, a pastry bag, a squeeze on this, make a nice shape. But whatever, I'm not Ooh. selling this. So nope, be... but if you did, I'd pay 75 bucks for it. Oh, okay. No discount right here. No. <laughs> no discount. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> 75. How about that? A quick 75. Mm. 76. All right. This is I'll do a taste. I'll now really quick. So here's this, right? Got our simple syrup, our boba, some ice, mm. and pour over some milk. Mm. Right? And then with the rest of it, I'm going to pour in some matcha. Oh, yes. On the top. Nice. Mm-hmm. So it looks, uh, Ooh, looks pretty sense. pretty. Yes, very pretty. Cheers, let's do this. All right, cheers. Cheers. Cheers that. Mm. I'm gonna stir mine a little bit. Ooh, ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. See, I wish I, wish I had uh, like a boba straw. <laughs> yeah, actually I had one. I'm just gonna use a spoon because the cream cheese is better. You just scoop out. Mm. Nice. You know what I like about this? Mm. I feel like it's not too sweet, which yeah. I really appreciate. Because not like, too these sweet. are sometimes, I mean, this one. This one's probably yeah. gonna be too sweet. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. The boba is so oh my god, chewy. The, pan Panda. the boba's amazing. Mm. Oh my god, that pandan with the durian and the boba. Look at that, look at that bite with the boba. You can't even see mm. the boba. <laughs> yeah. They're there, I assure you. All right, so let's see. Let's ask everybody who's the mm. winner. Who, which flavor you like? Comment below here. <laughs> who's who won? Yeah. So Vivian, tell tell them what yours is one more time. Oh, my just uh, actually today's a little little pink because uh, I add some pink, uh, sparkling ice ice balls in here. Otherwise, it would be the classic one, with the uh, just a regular boba. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so, what, so what are we calling it? If you had to put it on the menu, what would you call it? A uh, classic um, boba milk tea with sparkling ice balls. Ooh, <laughs> and then at the end, 75. Yeah, 75. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All Let's right, look right. at I that cue. Let's that's see. Cute. I'm searching people I'm questions. This, uh, What's your name milk. of a drink? This is a matcha milk bubble tea latte. Matcha mm. milk latte. And this is a stinky sweet durian pandan bubble tea. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Just stinky enough. Yeah, let's see here. Let's see the questions. So we just got some. You got any cues? All right, here. Here. Well, Adam, here, a question for you first. How to make rice? Why do you, how do you make rice at home? Um, so how mm. I make rice? Mm. Now, I'm a, I'm a rice cooker guy because I grew up uh, yeah. in a rice cooker. In my, on my dad's side, um, 
my stepmom is Korean, so we always had rice, like all the time. Uh. Um, so we always used to, you know, I learned the finger trick from a young age and was able to make my own rice, like, regularly. But mm-hmm. um, in, my, uh, in my adult years and learning how to cook more, I probably use the rice cooker the most, but I also really like to use a cast iron, where mm. you basically make sure your rice is rinsed, and then you cook the rice just in a cast iron, and then what you can do is you can take the lid off when it's all cooked, put a little bit mm. of oil on the sides, and get it super crispy. Yeah. That's, that's probably my favorite way to make it. Mm. What's yours? So when I grew up, first thing that I think the rice cooker came in the '90s, right? And so before that, my grandma always make rice in like a pot. So there always a um, there is one rice the way cook. Actually, I want to make a video. So you always had this called what? I don't know English called rice soup, like a little. Oh, congee. Because, it's not congee. So when you when you like take out the rice, there's a white liquid. Well, after you cook the rice, so the rice is too processed. Then you then you steam the rice. So first you boil it. You have this uh, very thick like a rice soup. I always drink it. Always like that. And then you can use a rice soup to cook some vegetables in. Then you steam Ooh. the rice. So it's a little bit more processed making the rice. Of course you yeah. can just boil in the pot. But my grandma mm-hmm. making it, I like it as a little rice soup always to drink or cook a vegetable. And later we have a rice cooker, much easier, make life much easier, but we, we don't get the rice soup to drink. That's the drawback. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that is a drawback. I gotta try that. It yeah. sounds good. Yeah, yeah, so I wanna make that. Even there's more steps, you get some extra things to eat. Really good. Let's see, next question. Uh, okay, here's a good one. Right here. Our warm heat. You know, I use, I, I see this for the chili pepper I use is from Sichuan, Sichuan chili peppers. Yeah. And uh, I, I would say they're like hot, hot, maybe medium. They are called uh, heaven facing peppers. Some, uh, I just don't think that's really hot. It's more fragrance. What, what chili pepper do you like to use? Ooh, uh, so I probably reach for the gochugaru a lot, which is the curry, just like the dry curry and chili flake. I like it. Mm. Um, I like Aleppo pepper and I like Earth of the Beer pepper. And I like uh. Aleppo because it's 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 semi it's pretty mild, but it's um it's so fruity and flavorful, and mm. it's really good on like surprisingly everything. Like I would even put a little like pinch of that on top of ice cream. It would be really good. That's how good like fruity and floral Aleppo pepper is. Oh, so, well, I should try that. Yeah, one. Gochugaru Aleppo yeah. pepper. Yeah, Earth of the Beer is more like a dark chocolate. Yeah, it's like super dark and smoky. Shout out Chipotle peppers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a question, Kara said. What's your favorite recipe to make all the time? Adam, answer that first, and then I'll be after you. Oh my God, that's a lot of pressure. Mm. You no, know, I'll say this, and it might be a pop-out, but you know, we make videos, and we are always, I always have leftovers from the videos that I make. So mm-hmm. um, my favorite thing to do is like kind of repurpose what I make for my videos and just kind of like come up with like an impromptu dinner for like Jess and I. Jess mm. is my girlfriend, by the way. Mm. Hi, Jess. Yeah, she says hi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, oh my yours? favorite recipe. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Uh, subscribe. If you send a super chat at this time, I wouldn't miss because that will pop up on the screen <laughs> like, <laughs> like a dollar sign. <laughs> this time I set up. Um, yeah, my favorite recipe actually is in my, my book. Gonna check the link down below to order my book for the boba tea recipes in the book. My Oh, Adam, if you see my pickle jar there, my oh, 60 I've year old pickle jar. Videos. Let me see, yeah. see it. Can we see it up close? Yeah, it's uh, my gonna move this. I have two. 16 year old pickle jar. Oh my god, so it's always hiding my corner here. And there's stuff. So this one, oh actually, is, this, this jar is not the original one. The original one, I made a video, it's a clay jar. But this one, yeah. I found it later. Like, there's another smaller one in the back. This is a bigger one, so. This is gonna hold a lot of pickles. I show you that uh, we get a chopstick. Special pickle. So chopstick. the brine I started 2005. So I just keep up wow. all these years. Right, right there. Oh my god. Um, you see pepper. So those peppers are not that spicy. Maybe looking scary, but not that spicy. Wow. You can just. That. that thing's beautiful. Just chop them up. You can just eat it. Then I have radish in here. Yeah. So I so take care of this. Put- like, you just put whole peppers in there over time and just let them hang out and sit in the brine. Yeah, so my brine is pretty strong. Uh, so this yeah. those pepper party ready like in a few days. But if it's a vegetable, for example, 
There's a one vegetable called saltus as my favorite to pickle, but I can't, you know, hard to get it here. So I will pickle the broccoli stem in here, oh. a similar texture. So if you peel the broccoli stem, you pickle here, this will be ready like the next day or even you pickle in the morning, I can eat in that afternoon, like we call it like a, take up like a bath, pickle like a take a bath a short time. You just, you're pickling here to take a bath for a short time. So <laughs> So that brine, do you ever add salt or sugar to it, or is it just all already seasoned all the time? It's seasoned originally, then I have to add stuff. Every time I pickle, take this old stuff out to eat, yeah. and then put a new vegetable in, I add more salt, spice, uh, lick, uh, you know, like a vodka. Vodka I use yeah. because um, I can't find a Chinese liquor here, so I use vodka. So all these spices I add in every time. Here's a water seal. Uh, to prevent any bacteria get in. That's why I add water here to seal the jar. So when I go away, once I have to call a friend because I forgot to cover it, because those water dry out. When the water dry out, my pickle brain will go bad. I have to call someone yeah. to come to add water and cover it. No way. It's like <laughs> yeah, watering yeah. plants, but it's like keeping your pickle jar watered. <laughs> yeah, so this, this water right here, it's important. Yeah, oh, my yeah. favorite dish, it's a meatball dish I make all the time for my kids. It's called a lion's head. And uh, I oh, make that I all the those. time. Oh yeah, I love those. And when I grew up, I ate a lot of them. My grandma and my mom always cooked this. So it's like my favorite dish. So I cook that for my kids now all the time. Okay, let's ask the last question. Then we will, be, we will be done with this. Let's see another question. Let's see. Oh, okay, let's see. If you just came, already made the boba tea. And uh, Adam one is the green one, Panda, look at that. I'm um, still drinking my. He made two, I made one. Okay, here is, question. here a question for the chef. How about that? Here. Any good substitutes or tapioca gelatin when making boba? Hmm. Uh, vegetarian you, know, you might, you might be able to answer this question more than me because I don't really make boba that much, but uh. I would imagine just thinking about starch like, could you use potato starch? Would that be a weird potatoey flavor? How does corn starch work? Is what I would guess. Gelatin? Do you ever use gelatin in your boba? Uh, so there popular? are the grass jelly. Do you know grass jelly? You can yeah use it to make a kind of gelatin type thing. Yeah, they right, not right, using right. the boba tea. But I have to say, there's actually no substitute for tapioca flour. If you use any other kind of flour, you can make a, like a little boba, but that's not boba. Only tapioca is boba. <laughs> okay. so, so it's like yeah so you would just be making like potato pearls essentially which probably yeah, isn't right. that good right. but try just it because you know, that would be cool try it I'd say yeah. why not <laughs> yeah and, uh, or gelatin you can make a cutting little square so you can add in the boba tea add some little texture in there it's good okay oh. so thank you Adam we successfully challenged and people already say who's the winner we're going to check the comments there I don't oh, see heck it yeah. yeah don't hurt my feelings guys <laughs> you made it great. You made it too. You made it too. And uh, mine, but my, ooh, mine were easier than yours. Oh, you already finished. Mm. Yeah, okay, I thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> please smash, smash. My people on YouTube say smash the like button and subscribe. <laughs> Adam, link down here, his channel, and my channel too. If if you subscribe now, your name is gonna pop up here. I wanna see anyone Sweet. or nobody. <laughs> Nobody yet. <laughs> All right. So I will see you next time, Adam. Bye, yeah, everyone. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Fun cooking with you guys. Yeah.